today we're going to change the automatic transmission fluid on this 2007 Acura MDX. So we have 10 quarts of fluid here. We have a drain pan to put the fluid in. Two O-rings, 24 millimeter and 18 millimeter. Have a nice funnel here. This will allow us to uh, kind of go through uh, the top. There's a fill that uh, uses a 17 millimeter uh, socket. It's probably on there pretty hot, pretty tight. So uh, we have a large extension right here, a breaker bar, and then as far as getting the drain out, we have a 3 8 to half inch adapter, little extension, and a ratchet here. So. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Um, the fill is right there. Let's see if it'll focus. You can see it in there. It's that's a 17 millimeter uh, bolt. Now the drain underneath here up front. It's right there. So, pretty easy to get to. You don't really need to raise the car. I did put it on ramps, but not necessary. So, let's go ahead and get started. So, let's go ahead and remove the top fill. Now, these are on there pretty tight usually. So, uh, using both hands to kind of break it, uh, break it loose, it's Definitely on there tight. Heard the breaker bar snap, so. I'm gonna go ahead and retrieve it now. So we, uh, that's what the bolt looks like. And we still have the crush washer in there so I'm grabbing that now there's the old crush washer now we're gonna go down and get the drain loose um, I imagine it's a Drain it out here. Now this is going is going to drain here for a couple minutes for sure. And you can see it's definitely a darker red. Um, hasn't been changed in about forty five thousand. So we're gonna let this drain. And I'll be right back. So uh, it's been draining here for a few minutes. Now, this is what was on the magnet. This has a uh, magnet on the end that collects these uh, small particles, metal, metal shavings, whatever. Um, pretty dirty, you know, for uh, 45,000 of use, but uh, that all came off here. It's good and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and put it back on there. Don't have to tighten it too much. We're just going around the block. What we're gonna do basically, uh, what we're gonna do is go through all the gears once we fill it back up. So let's go ahead and come up top here and uh, start pouring. 
So have our have our filter set up with the funnel. Or our funnel is set up. <laughs> it does have a filter, which is nice as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, slowly pouring it back in. definitely see that this is a uh, definitely a brighter brighter red let's go with number two here So all three quarts are now in. Just waiting for it to kind of run through there. I'm gonna let the funnel sit there for a few minutes. Just get all the uh, fluid into the transmission. Now, I'm not gonna film this, but basically we're just gonna put that 17 millimeter nut back on. Not very tight, just, just snug. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Okay, so now we're gonna do a road test. I have it in manual mode, just uh, turning out of the neighborhood here. Definitely give it, uh, give it some gas here. Go through all four gear, or all five speeds. Turn around. It's back in automatic. fluid gets circulated around here so yeah that's pretty much it uh, coming back now to uh, basically do the other two uh, change outs here and on the third one need to make pay very close attention to the fluid level and it should be pretty hot because I'm gonna just uh, do these other two pretty quick road tests after each and uh, that'll pretty much be it. We should be good to go. So uh, I'll also have a, uh, a little shot here of the different fluid levels um, after each change. So we should be able to see color-wise um, where we're at with it. But maybe just uh, one more in reverse here, back in drive, and we will uh, put it back up on the ramp here and drain out the remaining fluid so okay so here's a comparison of the three now these are all filled the first one's definitely the worst um, you can see it's hard to see through uh, this is the second one it's uh, definitely improving um, and then here's the third one so that, that shows uh, 
on that third one it's definitely a lot cleaner um, so yeah we should be good to go here uh, let's go take a look at the dipstick so uh, you can see at the uh, dipstick has these two holes so I just wiped it off we're gonna want the levels between those with it hot so let's go ahead and And let's look, you can see, not sure, uh, kind of hard to see there in the sun, that it is about two thirds the way, about halfway up um, between the two. So we're above the first, halfway to the second, that's right where we should have it. So, perfect, uh, thanks for watching.